little product review tonight. Um, some new denim, or rather duck canvas uh, trousers I've picked up from Ironheart. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know I've had a couple of pairs of Ironheart jeans in the past, and uh, they are really quite addictive. I've certainly been enjoying wearing the 555s, um, and we'll get onto those in a moment. Um, so these are the what's called the Devil's Ducks. Um, it is a 666 cut, um, which is a slim, a slim straight cut. Um, so not as uh, as slender as the 555s, um, but a nice straight leg, um, slim cut, very straight from the knee to the cuff, and uh, really suiting to what I want. And what I want is something to bring a bit of um, enjoyment to my work attire. So I'm bored of the sort of grey work trousers, looking for something a bit different, and what better than to bring the iron hearts into the workplace. So as I say, these are the 666D, um, the D standing for duck, and that is this canvas, um, off cuts here. Um, this is what is called a duck canvas, and um, rather than a sort of a twill weave, I think it's called with a traditional denim with the uh, warp and waft, I think it weft, is it? Um, fibers. This is a straight, plain, tight weave, um, so much more sort of dense, much less prone to uh, stretch, a very strong fabric um, in a sort of flat brown color. So whilst we're on to this, obviously Ironheart jeans, trousers always come in um, with what would normally be seen as a sort of ridiculously long leg. These come in as a 36.5 inch inseam, um, which is absolutely massive. So I've had these cut down to 33 inches. Um, we'll get some shots of them on in a minute. Now I would say that's probably a little bit long, um, but you can't add material back on, so obviously we, uh, I've gone for a cautious 33, whereas probably I want a 32, but I just want to see how these wash, whether there's any shrinkage, and indeed as they uh, stack and honeycomb, sometimes a little bit of length is lost as the, uh, as the fabric bunches up. So these came straight from Ironheart. Um, two days it took from ordering to delivery, including the hemming, um, done by Sam, and the hemming uh, is absolutely perfect. I'll get a little close up, but uh, comparing the the hems as fitted to the uh, to the originals, almost no difference. Perfect in the workmanship there. So. Obviously, coming from Ironheart, you get your little uh, tab which says what you had done to them, what models they are, um, your order number. You also get a little care sheet which replicates info they've got online um, and uh, it just tells you how to look after their various fabrics. So just looking over the jeans, obviously, as you'd expect from Ironheart, top quality construction. Um, the weight of the fabric at 17 ounces um, isn't quite as striking as the weight, I know it's lighter, but the 21 ounce denims that they do, you can tell there's some weight in there. These, you can actually feel the weight, but when they're on, it's a much lighter fabric to wear. Um, I would say that the stretch uh, potential of these is a lot less, so um, and the sizing is a bit odd. These are a 34 tag size, whereas the 50, uh, 555s I got is a 32. And these actually come in as a 33.5. So it's kind of the opposite of vanity sizing. It's actually smaller than the tag size. So I don't want to go more than 34 um, real size. And I asked them to try and find me um, a larger cut of the uh, of the 34 tag, and they came in as 33.8, which is absolutely perfect. Um, no problem there, not reliant on stretch, because the stretch will be minimal in these, not the normal sort of inch, inch and a half you'd come to expect from a normal denim, um, on the waist that is. So I think these are gonna be right for me. I'm not reliant on stretch. I don't mind if they shrink a little in a wash, and uh, I think that was probably a wise choice, we'll see. 
So as I say, top quality construction, um, hidden rivets on all the, uh, the pockets at the back. The pockets at the back are lined. Traditional rivet construction at the front here. Again, top quality. The edges of the pockets actually have a reinforcing uh, tape across them just to make sure they're not torn up by your knuckles and your rings and stuff like that as you put things out of your pockets. Obviously a four button fly in this sort of nice sort of bronzy iron coloured buttons as is all the hardware. Throughout there's nice internal red stitching including on the uh, on the inseam so that's an overlock stitch and then a, a sort of tan overlock on the other side there now obviously as you see from that not a salvage denim um, not sure if you can get salvage duck certainly not something that Ironheart offers I don't think I'll be cuffing this don't think that's the look I'm going for. Um, it might help me with some of the additional length initially, but um, not, not ultimately what I'm striving for. An interesting point about selvage denims is that um, having a selvage edge forces one uh, edge of the, the cut fabric to be straight. Now, a lot of tapered jeans and carefully uh, designed jeans don't really want two straight edges on the uh, on each side of the leg construction. So actually, selvage can be a bit of a curse. Um, I haven't really tried out any cuts which are reliant on a, a non-selvage edge, but just something I picked up online. So selvage looks nice if you're cuffing, but it's not the be-all and end-all for a great fit of jeans. It does limit the way it's going to be cut. Okay, so um, rivet construction on the pockets. Um, on the inside, perfect stitching throughout, very heavy canvas pocket bags and we'll pick up in a little close up, every single rivet is stamped with WKS which stands for uh, Works, which is a sort of parent company if I understand correctly of Ironheart. Yeah, absolutely fantastic construction. So we'll just pop them on very quickly. Now, initially you'll see them with a pair of uh, Ironheart, not Ironheart, sorry, Red Wing uh, blacksmiths. Um, these, I think, uh, probably sort of are, are the look I'm going for. Then we've got some Doc Martins in Cherry Red, or Oxblood rather. And these are the four life. They're looking a bit worn now. And finally, um, we've got some PF flyers, just for that more casual look. Um, so I've got a, a sweatshirt on there rather than a, a white shirt. And I'll then just trying to cuff them a little bit there and just see what it looks like with a, a more straighter hang um, if I'm going to get these uh, re hemmed at all. Okay, so that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. As I say, these are for the office, so um, white shirt or check shirt. I'm going to bring out the old quarter leather belt. A bit battered, a bit indigo stained, but um, certainly a nice match for the, for the jeans, I think. Um, and we'll see how they wear in. I'm not quite sure how these are going to fade. Certainly um, the, the 555s here um, they're actually beginning to yield their indigo very nicely after only a short amount of wear actually. I thought these were going to be a little bit more stubborn than this, but you can just see the little highlights, a little bit of a sneak peek for future. I'll do a video in a sort of a couple of months time, maybe at the six month mark, so nicely yielding their, their indigo and certainly in the sunlight starting to pick up beginnings of some, beginnings of some whiskers coming out there looking good. So, great things for the 555s expected. Um, lovely, lovely he heavy denim. Great way it hangs. Very, very comfortable. 
um, heavy but not hot. Um, and I'll let you know how these uh, Devil's Ducks go. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to fade heavily. I'm kind of hoping they're not going to because I want to wear these in the office. Um, so to keep them looking sort of pristine, a sort of a, a consistent colour across will help continue to make them office appropriate. Okay, well I think that's about it. Um, always enjoy getting a new pair of uh, denim jeans or uh, any sort of uh, jeans in fact. These are my first duck canvas products, so I'll let you know how they get on. Um, I'll do a review at maybe six months and we'll see how they go. If all things go well, they'll be worn on a daily basis in the office and I'll get some good wear and we'll see how they age. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, love quality footwear, denim, um, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, cycling, recently bought a Brompton, absolutely fantastic bicycles, guitar, basically all my passing interests I try and bring to the channel, I like to share my interests and uh, check it out if you already haven't, we might share some interests. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much, bye bye.